In this video, we're going to look at some of the recent updates to VS Code. There were some great improvements. If you want to learn more about VS Code, check out my VS Code course at vscodehero.com. The link is in the description below. If you find this video helpful, like and subscribe. The Workspace Trust feature was added in last month's release. And there have been some updates and improvements with this feature this month. There is now a quick way to get to the Workspace Trust settings. When the Workspace Trust editor comes up, just click Configure Your Settings. And there are now some new settings. You can configure when the Workspace Trust banner appears. The new Workspace Trust banner setting allows you to disable the banner if you don't want to be reminded that you're working in a restricted mode. By default, this banner shows once per workspace and remains until it's dismissed. The other options are Always and Never. There are new settings to customize the editor scroll bars. We can control the horizontal and vertical scroll bar visibilities. We can change their thickness and we can control the click behavior. We can click to scroll by page or jump to the click position, which is the default behavior. So let's change the vertical scroll bar to be 50 pixels wide. Or we could even change it to 500 pixels because why not? Terminals can now be created in or moved to the editor area. We could do this several ways. In the command palette, we can use create terminal in editor area. And we could just drag and drop a terminal into the editor. And with a terminal focus, we could run move terminal into editor area from the command palette, or we can select move into editor area on the terminal tab context menu. And we can also change the default terminal location by using the integrated default location setting. The VS Code team has developed a live preview extension. It hosts a local server for web development previewing. This is something that was built into other editors like the no longer supported editor brackets. This new live preview extension is an in-editor browser preview. It has live refreshing, so when a file changes or is saved, it automatically updates. This extension also has a live preview task. This allows us to see server traffic and its associated files. After you've installed the extension, you can use the command palette to start a new preview in the internal browser or external browser. Or you can click this button to open a preview. To start the preview task and monitor server traffic, use the command palette to run a task and then select live preview run server dash dash verbose. Now, this is not intended for environments where a server is already running like React or Next.js. In those cases, you can actually use the already built in simple browser. I think this is a great start to an integrated browser preview, but we still need full developer tools and especially a console to get me to use this instead of an external browser. But it's great work and I'm excited to see the potential here. There's a new open in VS Code badge that you can use on GitHub for your repos. This will allow visitors to quickly open your repo in VS Code. This can be done by either using the remote repositories extension or by cloning the repo into a dev container. Clicking on the badge will bring you to a page that looks like this where you can choose how to continue in VS Code. To show the badge on your repo, just add this markdown snippet to your readme file and replace organization repository with the values for your project. That's gonna be it for this quick video. I hope you like some of these updates. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this.